Okay, basically what we're doing here today is reviewing the new system of the Zefcon AC powered drive system on the ACG vehicles. Uh, we're very excited about the new features on the new gauge and the new drive system. As you can see here, we have the gauge which displays the mileage, the trip, the odometer. It also automatically will give us the battery percentage and the energy that's stored in the vehicle. A, a rather neat feature on this is as well is that after vehicle is used a number of times, it will actually sh show a small display of a battery need to be checked as far as the uh, water level in the battery. Now in order to clear that, you actually would have to push this upper button and hold that twice and so as you can see that made the battery um, symbol disappear after the usage of the vehicle a number of times it will reappear and obviously remind you to check the batteries. Um, the other thing which I think is somewhat relevant is that the vehicle when you turn the key on has to be in neutral. It will not start if you don't start it in neutral. It actually also will not start unless you have either a foot on the brake or on the throttle. If you put the foot, uh, both of your feet on the brake and the throttle, it will give it an input in which it thinks that there is a fault. Our next screen is the display of the controller temperature, motor voltage, the motor amps, motor RPM, motor temperature, and motor torque. And so it gives you all the data that you could possibly need as far as performance, what's working and what's not. It, it allows you to obviously view uh, the performance data, which at that point also tells you that if something is working properly or not, um, that would make a big difference. Now, the next screen, which we push the button again, it shows us the diagnostics of all the switches. So for example, if I step on the gas, we'll see the gas throttle activate on the SF1. If I put the, the vehicle in forward, see the forward switch is activated. If we put it in reverse, the reverse act is activated. Now there is some other symbols as far as seat, drivability, foot brake, those are not used, but they are just displayed on the, on the screen. And um, so then we can actually go to the next screen. And what that is, it, it's displaying the time traveled at 50 foot, 100 foot, 200 feet, and 500 feet, and 1,000 feet. And it basically gives you the performance level of the vehicle. And it, it's a diagnostic test. It kind of will tell you that, you know, if the batteries are really weak and at, at a certain point you were able accelerating in, you know, let's say four seconds and now all of a sudden you're at eight seconds, more than likely that would be a battery issue. At the same time, we also can see that there is a, an hour meter. So it actually tells us how long the vehicle has been driven and gives exact track on the, the time that the vehicle has been driven. Now this is traction hours, not necessarily key along. Now the next screen, screen is actually logs all the faults that ever have occurred on this particular vehicle. Now some of them are uh, software programming issues. Um, some of them, like at a certain point, if the motor gets too hot and too severely used, it actually will show that, wait a minute, the motor got warm and it will go in what's called terminal cu cutback, reduces the performance of it in order to protect the motor and the controller. As well as the motor and the controller are temperature uh, regulated and so if they overheat, they actually will cut back, protect themselves, and as they cool off, they'll reset themselves, and um, the vehicle will drive just normal. If you see a sequence fault on the screen, 
that basically means that you did not put the forward and reverse selector in neutral when you start it. You can turn the key off, put it back in neutral, and reactivate it. I think that you can see the, the features and the possibility on this is rather impressive. And this is just a small segment on just the function of the screen alone. And basically you push the button again and you go back to main. Now there is some other settings with the setup set settings. However, um, I think most dealers or customers will never need to use that. Um, that's more something if we do need to do some remote programming, we can hook up via the internet and we could actually diagnose the vehicle via the internet. But that is in extreme circumstances. Most of the information needed is all displayed on the screen. Uh, thank you for your time and I hope this will help you understand some of the features and benefits of our new drive system.